Father, we thank you and praise you, God. We thank you that you are God, and besides you, there is no other. We thank you, God, that we're here, God, to hear what you have to say today, yes. God. Yes. Father, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be accepted in your sight. You are our Lord. You are our yes. strength and redeemer. Mm -hmm. We know, God, that all of our help comes from you, God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And we lean and depend on you, God, mm -hmm. that you will lead us and direct us and guide us. We love you and thank you. In your son Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. amen. And we shall rejoice yes. and be glad in it. Amen. amen. A day that we'll never see again. All amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. We'll see another June of July the 7th. I want to say June, but somebody may start hollering. I know they'll start hollering about that one. Amen. Another another July the 7th, we'll never see it again. Not this one, amen, but it's going to be another one, but not this one. Amen, hallelujah. So we thank the Lord for that. Amen, hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you come out to his house this morning, amen, to hear what he has to say. Amen. 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 Truly, there is a word from the Lord. Amen, hallelujah. Amen. This has been kind of stewed in my spirit all week. You know, when God dropped this on me, actually it was so two weeks ago when he dropped it and I started thinking about this, you know, when he spoke this word of knowledge in my spirit. Amen. Well, you're reading today Luke chapter 15, Luke 15, verse 11 through 20. Luke, I'm going to have some other ones, but you don't have to turn to those other ones, but I will give them to you. Amen. As we go along. Luke 15. 11 through 20. Amen? Amen. That's where we're going to be reading from. Y'all got it? Mm -hmm. Luke 15, 11 through 20. Mm -hmm. Amen. For a topic this morning, for a nugget for you, the question is, am I wasteful or responsible? Am I wasteful or responsible? Don't start shopping at the same time. <laughs> like, what in the world is that? What are you talking about, Walter? That's a good passage where we're going to start reading that. But we're going to talk a little bit about just those two words that God gave us. Wasteful and responsible. We all know what those words entail mm -hmm. when we hear those words. Amen. Mm -hmm. We can either be responsible stewards of the Lord uh -huh. or we can be wasteful right. stewards mm -hmm. of the Lord. Amen. Or in other words, not responsible. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Only two ways. Or we can look at it this way. Either I can do it God's way, or I can do it my way. My way would wind up being wasteful. His way is always going to be better and be responsible. Amen? So now what are you talking about? We know that this life that we live, that, that, that this life that God has given us, our life has been bought with a price. Can we agree to that? Amen. We understand that we don't own our life, that God is the author and finisher of our faith. Yes. We know what the word of God said, that God created the heavens and the earth and they that were they in and everything is the Lord. We know that, right? Yeah. Do we truly believe that? Amen. Do we truly believe that everything that God put in our possession belongs to him? Amen. Amen. God taught us a while back about being a good steward over the things that he has given us. Y'all remember those lessons? It's very important, very important, amen, for us not to be void, wasteful, amen, as a steward of God. <laughs> but I, I found this on, on, on Google. Let's see what Google has to say concerning uh, statistically, when they did some statistics. This is say from, according to the statistics from 2006, I guess it's up to now, of the present. This is all it showed me at the one that I read. It says Americans individual generate an average of 4.6 pounds of garbage every day. Anybody don't know what garbage is? Yeah. Uh, we all know what garbage is, right? Mm -hmm. It says uh, a range from an uh, 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 example of food, waste, material goods that have been broken beyond apparent repair. 
something that we're no longer using, amen, that we're throwing out, we're getting rid of, amen. In other words, when you bought some chicken, it was in the pack, you took it out the pack, you don't need, necessarily need the pack, you want the chicken, you throw it out, right? Mm -hmm. So we understand, amen. amen. It says, uh, uh, to the objects were chosen to be abandoned in exchange for newer. Now we know, I was thinking as I was meditating yesterday, but I didn't do it because I was just paying attention to it, and I probably would be still writing the date. In the, in the realm of a one TV show, can you imagine how many commercials come on? Y'all ever paid attention to that? Yeah. A lot of them. Yeah. Why are there so many commercials coming on? Everybody trying to get you to sow into their life. They been they trying to sell you something. They want you to buy something. The new and latest and greatest thing that they got came out. In other words, think about this one. AT&T been sending me an email talking about I need to upgrade on my tablet and my phone. Why? It ain't broken. Why do I need another one? Because they say they got some new technology, right? Mm -hmm. But I have chosen not to buy the new new one and keep the old one, right? Because it's still working just as good. Amen? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be wasteful just to buy something just to buy it. Amen. And ain't nothing wrong with what I got. Amen? So that's just, this is what God is showing us that it's on average we can be wasteful and not know that we're being wasteful. Right. Amen. I'm not just talking about right. covers and goods, but I am to get your motor running. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you think about your Lord and your Savior and the time that God has given you. Are you wasteful with that time or are you responsible All with right. that time? All right. All right. Amen. Once the time is gone, you can't get it back. Can't get it back. Can you go back 81 years from the day and redeem that time? Not hardly. Amen. So what we did yesterday was yesterday. What we're going to do today is today. He said we got to forget about those things which are behind us, pressing forward. Amen. See, what you did yesterday, amen, if you've asked God to forgive you, amen, you say, well, Lord, I realized that I didn't do things right, that I wasted that time that you've given me, amen, that I should have done better with that time, amen, by serving you and seeking you and loving you, amen, and worshiping you and praising you, God. Can you forgive me for that, God? I need to be more responsible with the time that you have given me. Yes. Amen. Yes. The Bible said that we're here today and gone tomorrow. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Death is upon upon of, of, of us all. Amen. It's appointed that a man should die. Mm -hmm. Y'all know it to be true. Amen. Yes. And when that time come, I was thinking as I was meditating, I was thinking about that parable in the Bible when that, that disciple, I don't think he was a disciple. I think God was calling him at that time when he had a relative that had died and he asked God to let him go back and be with his family to bury him. Y'all remember that story? Yeah. What did God tell him? God said, let the dead bury the dead. Amen. The time is at hand. There ain't nothing you can do for him. You need to be worried about yourself right now. Yeah. Amen. You need to invest in the time that I have given you to be responsible to seek my faith. Amen. Yeah. So that, that blessed my soul. Amen. That God showed me that. Amen. Hallelujah. So y'all understand what I'm talking about. Amen. I got you now. I got you. Glory, glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. So as you're thinking about that, okay, I looked it up, and this is what the dictionary.com says, amen, wasteful. A person's action or purpose using or extending something of value carelessly, mm -hmm. extravagantly, mm -hmm. or to no purpose. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how those people are, those people that got a whole bunch of cash and just burning their pocket, you know what they do? They just go wild out, don't they? Start buying this and that. Now I ain't saying y'all because y'all don't because y'all are responsible. You're not wasteful. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What you're you responsible what you with what God has given you. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen, Walt. <Walker. laughs> Amen. 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 Yeah, listen, the, 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 the uh, UPS guy, how you doing today, Mr. Coop? I'm doing good. I'll see you later. I'm, like, I'm quite sure you will. <laughs> I know you'll be back. <laughs> In the next couple of days, I know you will. <laughs> you, you, you see, oh, I already know where that's at. Hallelujah. But those are the things that we need, y'all. Get off my wife here, my wife alone. Amen. 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 Why y'all laughing? Y'all do the same thing. Hey, y'all do the same thing. Amazon bringing y'all everything to the house. Amen. Yeah. You get on the computer. Uh -huh. Keep your hand down, somebody. Don't be pointing. Oh, yeah. Listen, you get on that tablet. You get on the computer. Oh, I ain't got to go and get it. This is what I'm going to do. Amen. Yeah. Well, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not just talking about that. Yeah. You're being responsible. Amen. What, what God has given you to know that these are what we need. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
not going beyond what we need. Hallelujah. That's being that's being responsible. But as you're thinking about that, amen, uh, uh, the, the, the responsible part of being a responsible steward of God is that you are going to have to answer to God for what you have done. Amen. Amen. We're going to have to give an account amen. to this life that we are living. Yeah. Amen. That God has given us. Amen. Yeah. See, God, God is the author and finish of our faith. Yes. Amen. God is our boss. Yes. Amen. Even though he is our father. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're going to have to give an account to everything that God has placed in our power or control. Yes. That's being responsible. Amen. Amen. Even if you don't feel like doing the right thing, you know it's the right thing to do. Amen. That's what responsible parents do. Amen. So it brings me to a very familiar scripture. I got your motors running now. Amen. Amen. Jesus is given a great parable. He says in Luke 15 and 11, and he said a certain man had two sons. Say two sons. Two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me my portion of goods that fall to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with righteous living. Amen. Amen. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. There it is right there. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. Look what kind of job he got. And he would faint, uh, have filled his belly with the husk, that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him. Isn't that something? Mm. Mm. So you was spending all that good money that God gave you on them, but when your time comes, they're going to leave you high and dry. Oh, good God Almighty. Anybody ever experienced that? Yeah. As long as you the life of the party, the party's going on. Yeah. And when you leave, the party shuts down. Mm. Yeah. Isn't that something? And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger? Yeah. And I will arise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, uh, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, mm. and no more worthy to be called that son. Make me as one of the hired servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Yes. And 21 says, and the son said unto his father, I have sinned against heaven and in the sight am no more worthy to be called thy son. Mm -hmm. But the father said to his servant, bring forth the best robe and put on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. And bring hither a fat, a fat calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. My, my, my. 24. For the son, for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Amen. 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 I did say 20, but 24 is where I stopped at. Amen. Amen. So we can see, we can see this great parable about how. This one son took a path that all of us may have taken at one time in our life. Amen. Amen. But it, it, it got me, it struck me as I was reading this. You had one speaking, but two received. Y'all see that thing? Y'all see that? Y'all see that thing right there? Now I'm bold enough to say it, but yet you won't be bold enough to receive it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now this bless my soul. Hallelujah. Now the father, as I was studying this, it was of their custom that it's not like our custom that, that my estate would be divided up upon my death. But they, his estate was to be divided up to the heirs upon him, not the father, not having strength, being able to manage it. So it wasn't uncommon that this request was being made, mm -hmm. as long as the father was not to the point where he could manage that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? But we don't see that in the text. Amen? We see that the request being made by the younger son, amen, to ask the father to give him his goods, his portion. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, Dad, all that you work for, I'm asking you to give it to me now because I'm ready to go out on my own. I'm ready to see the world, to experience the world, and we all know some of the things we've done when we was young. Amen. God Almighty, Amen. don't start shouting. Amen. We do some crazy, Amen. some of us. Now, some of us blessed and highly favored of God <laughs> that we didn't do those things. And God be with you, how in heaven smile upon you. But for some of us who did some crazy stuff when we was young, yeah. good God Almighty, we say yeah. some crazy things. Amen. Yeah. But see, that doesn't change the love that God has for us. Amen. Amen. God love us 
in spite of what we do, Amen. how we act. Amen. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. The things that come out of our mouth. Amen. Yeah. Even when we're not being responsible yeah. and we're talking out of waste. Amen. Know that we can be wasteful. So his father said, okay, I'm willing to do that. Amen. You, you, you think you're ready? All right, I'm going to let you go. I ain't going to hold you back because if I get in your way, you're already kind of feeling some kind of way like you can do it on your own. Yeah. You don't need yeah. my advice. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Amen. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. Yeah. Yes. That's what some of us do today with the yes. Lord. Yes. We get out there, we think we don't need God. Mm -hmm. We don't arrive to the point we don't need his advice. Mm -hmm. We don't need God's teaching. Mm -hmm. We don't need God to say anything to us. Well, God, you done brought me this far. I can take it from here. In other words, I don't need to seek your face no more. I don't need to pray anymore. I, I, I already know enough. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can tell me. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. How wasteful we can be. Mm, it is wonderful, yeah, because we need to know that if you do that, you need to come to your senses, as this, this young man did, amen, that, to know that you're, the, the, the Bible says that the ways of a man seem right unto him, but the end thereof is death, amen, see, it's okay to feel that way, but you need to know at some point when you're not going right, you got to make a change, amen, amen. Are y'all in agreement with me? Yeah. Amen. So as, as, the, as, the, as the father began to, to obey the, the, your younger son and give him his portion, the 13th says, and not many days after that, so he already had that premeditated in his heart. He was ready to go anyway. He didn't want to work around the farm. He didn't want to work on the family business to do what needed to be done. He wanted to do things on his own. Y'all uh -huh. ain't never been that way. Amen. Ah, oh, the world is calling. I got to go. Amen. Oh, there's so much out there I can get into. Good Amen. God Almighty. So many people out there love me. Oh, so I'm going to go out there and see on, for myself and on my own. So he took a journey to a far country, and he got rid of everything that his father gave him. He was wasteful. All of them. What you say, Terrell? All of them? Got rid of all of them. He didn't keep anything. He didn't even think in his mind that these days may come to an end. I need to prepare for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. The tomorrow come and I need something, who is going to help me? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's being responsible, amen? That's why you're praying. That's why you're seeking the Lord. Because when, when your cross, when your cross come and you got to bear your cross, your prayers have to be going up to the Lord. You got to, the old folks say, you got to store up your temper while you can. Because there's right. going to come a time that you may not be able to open your mouth and pray unto the Lord and seek God's faith. Mm -hmm. Or you may be going through something in your life and you can't go like you really want to go, amen? Yeah. But your prayers are going before you. So, yeah. in other words... As the young man began to get rid of what his father had given him, he wasted all his substance in his living. My yeah. God. My God. That's what brings me to the point. How are you living today? My God. Are you living wasteful or responsible? My Don't answer that. Amen. Mm -hmm. You talk to the Lord concerning that. Yeah. Say, when he had spent all there arose a mighty family in the land, he began to be in mourn, and he went and joined himself, amen? In other words, he found the job, the only job that someone was willing to give him was to take care of their animals, amen? And we understand that swine is considered unclean, amen, in certain parts of that realm. So we know that this was way from where he was living, amen? And I, as I was reading this and studying this, I realized that some time had really passed when he made this decision. My God. Amen. And the events in life had led him up to the point. Now he was without. He was wanting. He was in need. Amen. Why? Because of his choice. Because him not being responsible. So here's the question I pose to you this morning. Are you being responsible? With the time that God is giving you. Good God Almighty. We understand that this world is trying to draw us away from our Lord right. and our Savior. Amen. That's right. With the desire that they offer us, amen, that has no meaning, no substance, right. no value. Mm -hmm. Instead of adding, it takes away. Yes. Be mindful of the time. Mm -hmm. Be mindful of the time that you're spending in this world. You can be in this world but not of it. Amen. Amen. We can't serve two masters, can we? We're going to love the one and hate the other. Amen. So it says, as he began to join himself, amen, and began to sweep feed the swine, amen, he was hungry. He realized now that he didn't have any money to buy himself something to eat because of his choices, because of his lifestyle. Am I responsible 
or am I wasteful? So he came to himself and he said, listen, this is what I can do. I can always go home. Yeah. But I can't go no place else. Yeah. In other words, when the enemy draws us away from God, at some point in our life, we got to realize, where can we go? Back to the Lord. Yes. We can always go back to God. Amen. God is standing there waiting to receive us. Amen. Yes. So as I was studying this, and I, I seen that he said, he said, I've sinned against heaven and before thee. Mm -hmm. That told me at one point, his father shared the word of God with him. Yes. He knew who God was. Yes. See, we can only make right decisions when we're walking with the Lord. That's true. We're not walking with the Lord. Our decisions won't be right. That's true. Amen. They'll seem right, but they won't last. Amen. They'll fade away. So he says, I'm not worthy to be called that son. Just, just call me as one of the hired servants. That'll be fine with me. But his father, you know how we are concerning our children. Yes, no. Amen. We don't have a respect of person, do we? Amen. We love in spite of what they say or what they do. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So this is a nugget for you. Acts 2 and 3 says, For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many of the Lord our God shall call. Amen. See, God is calling us all. Amen. Uh -huh. When we see someone that has fallen, amen, it is our job as children of God to restore them, amen, to bring them back in right standards with the Lord when we see them being wasteful. Amen. Amen. You may not have walking in it. You may know somebody that may be walking in a wasteful way concerning God. Mm -hmm. So you restore them what? With love, with yeah, grace, yeah, yeah. with yeah. dignity and respect. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Not with harsh words and being mean. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So as, 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 as I'm about to get out your way right here. Listen, I was thinking about this banquet that the father put on. The fattest calf. Let us eat and be merry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 24 says, For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was yes. lost and, 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 and is found. Yes. Amen. Have I got anybody that's been found by the Lord? Yes. Amen. See, Jesus came on the scene. They didn't understand your Lord and your Savior yes. as he began to preach the word of God. Amen. They called him everything but a child of God. Yes. See, they, they got mad at him for sitting with those sinners. Amen. He said he didn't come for those that need not a position. He came for the lost sheep of Israel. Yes. Amen. Yes. He came. You don't need him. He said he ain't going to pour himself upon you. All right. Amen. And it was angry to the fact that God was ministering to his children. Yes. So the enemy don't like what God is doing in your life. That's the nugget of it. Yes. He despised it. He hated it. He hated to see you being responsible unto your God, your yes. Lord, and your Savior yes. by seeking his face, by studying his word, amen, by showing yourself approved. A workman need not be ashamed unto him that yes. you can rightfully divide the word of truth, amen. Yes. So Matthew 6 and 24 says, no man can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, else he would hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. In other words, yes. you can't serve God and the devil. Amen. Amen. You will have to be responsible to walk with the Lord and walk away from the devil so you're not wasteful. Amen. 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 So you spend your time wisely seeking the Lord while he's yet to be found, saints of God. Amen. Amen. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Matthew 4 and 4 says, but he answered and said unto and said, It is written that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out the mouth of God. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So what God has spoken in your life, you must live by that. Yeah. You must be responsible, amen, to know that that is the will of God concerning your life. Amen. Yeah. Deuteronomy 10 and 14 says, Behold, the heavens and the heavens and the heavens is the Lord thy God, and the earth also with all that therein is. Uh huh. Everything that's in your life, God require you to be a good steward by being responsible. Yes. Amen. Because it belongs to God. Yes. You are going to have to give an account someday concerning what God has placed in your hands. Yes. Amen. Amen. To do. Amen. So, so as I'm getting out of your way, I realized that as as the as the young man came back home, the father was glad to see him. Amen. He was excited to know that his son was once out there in the world. He's not out there anymore. He's home, so he's going to prepare a banquet. And the older son, it struck me very, very, very kind to see that he was upset and angry to the fact that.
that his father was showing him some love. The younger son, that is. Isn't that amazing? How one ain't gonna always understand what God is doing in your life. They're gonna always have something nay to say about what God is doing. But don't be concerned about the naysayers. Amen. Don't be concerned about pleasing everybody. Amen. You please God. That's the first thing. If you please God, God will make your enemies your footstool. Amen. Let your ways be pleasing unto God. So the older son, he was upset and angry and did not like what the father was doing for the younger son. And he, did, he said, well, listen, I'm not going to go to that party. I don't think I should go. Why are you doing all of that? Amen. I've been with you all these many years. And you haven't done that for me. It's down in the text. Amen. But I realized how one servant left because they wanted to go. The other one possibly wanted to go, but he stayed. But he really didn't want to be there. Because he wasn't working out of love. Because if he was working out of love, he wouldn't have brought up what, he would, what he's been doing all those many years. Amen. Not keeping a record on, well, Dad, I did this for you. Dad, I did that for you. Dad, I did this. No, he wouldn't have said that. Amen. He would have did it because it was in his heart to do. And that's what God is doing in our life. Amen. We're serving God because of love, not out of uh, uh, being ordained or uh, made or uh, uh, being told to do it. Amen. I'm doing it because God has placed it in my heart to do because I love the Father because he first loved me. Amen. That's why I can be responsible with the time that God has given me on this earth. Amen. Amen. That I can show myself approved unto him. Amen. That God really will be pleased with my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Take it, no? Okay. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that's what God is sharing with us today. Amen. That is very important. And that's something that you're going to have to do. You're going to have to give inventory. You're going to have to check your life to know that your life is pleasing unto God. Yes. Don't put anything before your God, before your Lord, and before your Savior. Amen? Amen. Nothing should come before yes. him. Amen. Amen. Yes. When you're serving him and seeking him. Amen? Amen. To know that it's because of God's grace and his goodness that you are here today. Amen. Not because of works alone that any man should boast. Right. Amen? Right. Right. It's by faith that we are saved. Woo. Yeah. Not by works. Amen. Don't boast yeah. about what you've done for the Lord. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. Right. That's not going to get it. Amen. We have faith in God to know that God will pay us what we deserve. Amen. What he wants us to have. Amen. Amen. His gifts, his calling are without repentance. Amen. Amen. He give unto us what he desire for us to have. So we have to be responsible stewards to know that that's our job. Amen. Mm -hmm. To seek the Lord and serve him and be responsible for him. Amen. Amen. So in my closing, say, now, am I wasteful or am I responsible? I'm glad you asked. As you're thinking about this message and you're kind of meditating on it, amen, and you see some areas in your life that you know that you can change, you change those. Mm -hmm. Amen. You get those right with the Lord. To make sure that you're not this, this younger servant to be wasteful on the way that we live. Mm -hmm. Amen. That we're living in a way that God is pleased with. Because mm -hmm. when the time comes, we want to go back with him. Amen? Amen. To know that our work will speak for us. Amen. 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 We don't have to justify our works, but our works will speak for us. Amen. And our living will not be in vain. Amen. We won't hear the Lord say that part from me you work of iniquity. I know you're not. We don't want to hear that. We want to hear servant, well done. Well done. Amen. That's what it's all about. Yes. Because he's coming back again. Amen. Jesus. We need to be ready. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. We don't need to be so busy that we, we, we're making a whole bunch of noise, but we're not effective for the kingdom. Amen. We need to be effective for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. That God is pleased with who we are mm -hmm. as his representative. Yeah. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you and we bless you, God. We thank you for your word, Father. We thank you, God, that you have given us instructions today, God, for us to take inventory of our life, God. That we can find ourselves to be responsible for you, Father, in the way that you created us to be. We thank you, God, for your love. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for your grace. 
We know, God, that gift and calling are without repentance, God, and what you've done in one, God, we realize that you will do in or nothing, that you have no respect to a person. So we thank you, God. We ask that wherever we fall slack, wherever we fall short, God, that you just give us grace and mercy, Father, to change that as you've shown us what we need to do, God, to walk in your ways, your statutes, and your law. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, dying on the cross that we may have a right to the tree of life, God. We bless you. And we thank you and love you. Yes, God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.